I return uh, with Rainbow Robo Bros, only to be met with this. <laughs> the slightest off balance of power, and everything goes. Uh. We built a prison, which is currently still in progress. We also captured or beat up one eye because he has reverted to his evil state. Uh, and we did a few quests of raiding places where there were no people there. I hope that's not going to happen again over the course of this game where it's going to get really boring. Oh, right. And we got some flesh bags to join us. Uh, Blanca, who is actually sort of useful. Uh, at least they can be dedicated planting and animals, which is good. Not to mention their shooting skill is not to be laughed at. And then we had Ferex, of whom the last episode was named after. Because he's a stoner pyromaniac. He's also a psychopath, but that happened because we shot him in the leg. Anyway, with our caravans returned, we're looking at... Hoping we can get some of the last quests. I'm really hoping... Let me see. Armor of Failed Grades needs two more clues. And then we can go and get the thing. And speak of the devil, we just got a quest to find it. Covert Installation Excavation. Uh, Kesos, High Stellarch of the Empire of Keskos has discovered an ancient complex a long distance away. She believes it contains information about the relic known as Armor of Failed Grades. Kesos can't spare people to look into it, but hopes you can help by supplying seven colonists to carry out the investigation. The complex contains unknown threats and is also being sought by Kesos' enemies. The Ash Monkeys. Wow. What an intimidating group. Uh, well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I'd like to avoid sending the uh, sky mine guys because they get a serious uh, debuff to their everything when they're away from their hive mind thing and I don't want to send mate out there or maybe I do let's do it I'm gonna get reckless this this game hasn't even gone on for long enough to be considered uh, going for too long but if I play this my usual way, we're not going to do anything for a very long time. So I'm just going to send all the tier 2s as well as mate. And we're going to live Reese and Toby, or as I'm going to rename them now, Slave 1 and Slave 2 can hold the camp uh, with Blanca, who isn't necessarily in a bad mood, so she'll be probably fine. We we will need to get some way of producing food that she doesn't hate. But other than that, we're going to send everybody out. Go and see what we can get out of this. Whoosh. Off it goes. I'm also trying to get a few things done quickly today because I don't have as much time to record. I have other th things that call my attention uh, on Fridays, which is when I'm recording this. Hopefully uploading on Saturday. All right, guys. Dish doesn't have his melee weapon. That's fine. All right. Let's see what's in here. It looks awfully small. It's going to be tight corridors if there is something dangerous inside. Whoa! Yep, the bad, 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 bad. Bugs! We got bugs! Mate! Get in here! Okay. Insects have woken up. I get a feeling that means there's a lot more than just what I'm used to, what I'm expecting. Uh, do we have any melee weapons here? None. All right, guys, let's see. This is a little bit more like it, you know, dangerous bugs. 
dish can handle himself. A bit of a rude awakening. All right. Let's go ahead and hack these now that we've dealt with all those bugs. Oh, this one's mad, but really not going to be a problem. Let's see, not exactly a problem. Open this. Uh, uh oh, that's carpet. Get outside, get outside. Oh, one of the bugs was still alive! Okay. Put out the fire. Hey guys, go ahead and break this door. Go on, mate. You can put out the fire. You've got very delicate hands. But with that massive body. We got an Arcotech arm. Nice! And molecular analysis. Still not sure what that actually does, but nice. Tech print. What did we get from this one? Everybody out of the way. Ooh. Eltec staff. What does this do? An ultra tech staff threaded with psychic focusing materials. While it is a solid melee weapon, its main purpose is to enhance, enhance the wielder's psychic sensitivity and neural heat disp- Ooh. Dish. Fancy stick. Oh, and we got a raid from the Ash Monkeys. That's a little bit more than the last one, that's for sure. Oh, they've got a hack. Dagger snout. Ooh. That was just a losing battle. Ooh, medicine! We need that. For our surgeries. Sweet. Uh, oh right, we, uh... We, we go to the loading thingy and we go, Hey, load up! Everybody who came. Uh, long. Medicine, tech print. Uh, bum bum bum. Arcotech arm. Oh, right, we've got the, the, the weapon equipped. Load selected, and it like insta loads everything on the map into the transport, which is super convenient. Freaked me out yesterday, or the other day, more accurately. We need a landing zone. There we go. See? Easy as that. And we'll just build uh, some floors for it. A functional landing pad. Do we have that mod? We do not. There's a mod that adds trade ships that land rather than uh, just shoot stuff at the planet. Didn't know if I had it or not. Uh, refuel this. Come on, guys. We don't want to freeze them to death with hypothermia. Uh, no, we don't want that. We got more chemical capsules. Right. Get this stupid uranium knife out of there. I want chemical. Chemical capsules. Clear all chemical capsules. Okay? I only want chemical capsules in that shelf. Now, slave two. Destroy that uranium knife. Because it has offended me. And I am a tyrant. Good. Now we've got chemical capsules there. And... Uh, 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 it's gone insane. Maybe we'll just let the prisoners solve the problem. See, that works. Uh, Matthias has gone mad now. Smack him! Smack him with your special stick! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna elaborate on that. 
Oh, so I just remembered I had totally forgotten that part of our plan was to upgrade all of the android bodies for the three bros in order for them to be more effective. And I totally forgot that we have built the arms and legs to do it. We just need to do it. So right and left leg. Right and left arm. Right and left leg, right and left arm. Bam, 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 boom. Fantastic. Why is he resting in a hospital bed? Dish, you don't sleep like people. You don't do that. That's not how you do things. Oh no, Dish failed in a minor way working on butt. You messed up the right arm. This is the most important one. However, at this point, Butt does have, uh, 140 moving, but he has reduced manipulation. He needs an arm. Right arm. We got a Garlean pod sprout. We should probably bother with this, so let's set that to harvest and put Blanca to get it. Oh, I didn't even catch it, but Bud has now got his arms and legs full power. He's got 140% manipulation and moving. This guy is now a beast in our uh, colony. But he is merely the first dish, so I know you're really looking forward to it. But we technically need you to do the upgrades. We'll fix that soon enough. But we'll fix that very soon. I have decided it is about time that this colony had a table to eat on. Now that we have fleshies who need to eat. Also, Ferex has not gotten up since the last time we beat the crap out of him. That's probably because <laughs> he has a mangled scar and a stab scar on his brain. Oh my gosh, we vegetabilized him. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Um, this will probably solve his problems. Oh my gosh, the amount of stuff he can just dig up. Was that really 300 steel? Wow. He could just... We might just pop that up a little bit more. A little bit more steel never hurt anybody. Ah, uh, and our plants are starting to die of the cold. Typical. Uh, let's get some storage going uh, for this <laughs> abundance of cloth. Cloth can actually be useful even if you don't intend on building clothing. And hyperthermia. And a look change is desired. They're not of our group. Well, you are, but... Uh, they're not Mechajuana. They're not, they're not a mechajuanist, or I guess, no, the, the term, the appropriate term is a technosexual. So, a thought has occurred to me that it might be smart to build some androids who are specifically dedicated to certain jobs, and then provide them with the bionic or limb upgrades specific to those jobs. So I'm thinking it might be a smart idea to build an android with mining arms who just mines, who just digs up resources. This, these, these will stop our guys from being hacked. Let's just hope we don't overheat the room. What's that awful sound? An outlaw encampment quest has come in. First security of Northwest Tedston has sent a message. Apparently, tribes people based in a nearby camp have been raiding their caravans. The camp is controlled by Union of Ralbu. Grumpy is asking us to destroy the camp, which means eliminating all enemies and turrets. Grumpy says that there is a bandit camp at the site guarded by six tribespeople. Tough luck, dude. Insulting spe spree, Mind Blanca. Uh, oh. I guess uh, Rainbow Dish Soap didn't like that very much. He's still not out of it. 
Slave 2 just comes and takes the steel away. Eh, whatever. She is no longer in a mental break. Good. Reconnect. Pick up your weapon. Do this. We need those parts. Uh, Blanca's gonna need clothing. Time for us to make some, uh, production for that. Electric tailoring bench. That's exactly what I need. Let's make him a <laughs> human leather perka. <laughs> this game is, uh, completely fine. Oh yeah, we don't have any temperature regulation in here. Our heating is coming from one lone little wood-fired generator. That's not going to really provide much. Let's go ahead and get a little bit better temperature in here. It's about time we hit the industrial age with our temperature control. A masterwork human leather perka. Fantastic. Blanca, would you mind go putting that on? It's the best you're going to get. Because we don't hunt animals here. That would be inhumane. <laughs> uh, we, we have robot humor here. Uh, she had a heartfelt conversation with Dish about the future of androids. Are you hopeful that you will achieve the immortality of the machine, Blanca? <laughs> I have fun here, okay? That is spirit, spirit is broken. He is no longer a follower of Folk Arco Islam. <laughs> Uh, she has decided that her belief in folk arco is, is, is ismalism no longer made any sense. <laughs> she now believes in theo corruption. <laughs> that doesn't sound like that's an improvement. Winter doesn't really affect our guys very much. After all, they are androids. Though, for some reason, high temperatures affect them. I mean, I guess that could make sense with, like, overheating their inner stuff, but they just catch fire like normal pawns. So we're going to try to uh, just work with what we've got and hope that our food store, which is empty... Who didn't collect the food? Who's been eating the food? You guys shouldn't be eating the food. Use battery. Uh, our squishies are not going to last the winter. Just an observation. Also, hand, would you mind applying that? Getting the research benefits from it and such? Apply the tech print. At least put it in our base. I was trying to avoid having any stockpile zones. A cougar is hunting Blanca. That cougar is really determined to eat a person. Uh, that's a... That's a long trip. And... Mate is going to put it to an end. Squish. I survived. One hit. Who does cooking? Oh, it's dish soap. Okay, dish soap. Butcher up the animal and then return to your sleeping. A medical emergency! Extreme malnutrition. Rescue. Who keeps eating? Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. 
Because they keep eating the food. And the androids don't need food. Nothing. Okay? You guys, you can eat fine food. You're fine. You can eat. The androids don't need food! Also, I'm gonna set them on just normal medicine, not the big fancy stuff. Crisis of belief in the outlaw view. And a masterwork simple bled. Well, the that prisoner's room is gonna be fantastic, because that's the least I can say. Oh, hey, look. The medical beds are ready. The hospital has been prepared. Hmm, I'm gonna go feed this meat to one of the androids. He doesn't need it. He's already plugged in and recharging that way, but whatever. I'm gonna just go do that now. I see food here. Punch them all, mate. Punch them all. <laughs> Giant four-story tall robot runs around and punches explosive bats. Uh, ah, oh shoot. They died. Starvation. Ah, uh, and Slave One just got inspired cooking. Wow. But we did get Tribal Terminal. I believe this is the last one we need. Uh, it's another one of those Tribal Village raids. Except... It's not far from us either. Let's go get the, uh... Last clue we need, eh? Slave one. Yeah, we're gonna need more of these pods. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought she was just standing beside him, and then I remembered she's dead. She's just standing up dead next to the bed. Uh. Okay. An emergency landing request. And they'll give me a legendary great bow at best. <laughs> Barely a reward. Or did they not notice that I have shotguns? Alright, we've made it to the location. There's nobody here. How strange. This is the second time we've got a quest like this. And they just disappear. Yep, no attack, nothing. Uh, with that quest complete... That should mean... Let's see. Armor of failed grades. Five out of five. We just got an achievement. Mercenary. And relic has been found. We have learned the location of the armor of failed grades. The relic is housed in the ancient structure. It is protected by a security system with multiple independent units. You may choose to defeat the security forces one unit at a time before taking the relic. Or try to grab it and flee before they can harm you. It is not far. My kitten. The Robo Bros. The first mighty relic will be attained. And then we will have to determine how we will honor it or use it. But we'll figure that out next time. Do the stuff you do on the internet and be person <laughs> uh, yeah uh that is where i'm gonna end i don't have much time 
today because I have other things and I spent a lot of time in the morning doing something else. So, um, if this ends up being shorter, don't know if it will be, but if it ends up being shorter than 30 minutes, that's an improvement anyway. And that's why, because I have a pressing thing that I have to prepare for in an hour. And it's going to take probably more time than an hour to be prepared for it. Oh, actually, that's about 30 minutes of prep time. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that'll be the end of this. And uh, next time on the Rainbow Robo Bros, we'll get the Armor of Failed Grades.